I'm here at Bristol Shipwrights today where we're building this beautiful 43-foot Alden schooner. Today I'm just going to show you some tips and tricks that makes it a little bit easier for spreading epoxy glue. I'm here at Bristol Shipwrights and we're going to be putting on another strip plank. We've put on an awful lot of them so far, but this is the way we do it. We use some unthickened high-performance epoxy. We'll put a little bit on the scarf like so. And that just makes it so that it doesn't suck all the glue out of the thickened epoxy that we're going to put on later. Now, this little brush being cut off like this really helps us when we're trying to spread glue on the edge because the bristles on a, on a, a chip brush aren't stiff enough to get it to spread out. So this really makes it easy. And uh, it's surprising how well this works. I, I've tried trowels. I've tried just about everything. but. Nothing works quite as nice as this, so pretty simple stuff right here. Doesn't matter if we get a little bit down the sides at all, but we just don't want to put a huge volume on there that gets wasted, that's all. So what I'll do is I'll spread that out some more, and then it's kind of like, it's kind of like rolling and tipping. I'm not going to, I'm going to take off a little bit, just like that. So it's just a real thin prime coat on there, like so. Now we're going to work our way right to the end here. This system works so well, it not only spreads it very nicely the way we want it, it also eliminates quite a bit of time because all the other tools take way too much time to use. So that is that. Now we're going to step up and prime the scarf on the boat as well as this surface on the plank right here. Now I'm going to spread some unthickened epoxy resin on the scarf right here like so, just to give that a little prime, like that, and let that soak in. And then I'm going to go along the edge of the plank right here. And like I said, this does work really well. And it also works quickly. And we need that. We can't spend all day doing this kind of stuff. We just, there's so much gluing to do that you have to come up with these different tricks because otherwise you're going to spend your lifetime at it here. We don't want to do that. And we don't have a ton running down the face of it. Not that it matters if we get glue on the face of it. It really doesn't, but it would just be a waste, really. So we don't let that happen either. All right, now that we've got it primed like that, we're going to mix up some thickened resin and put that on top. Now let me just give this one swipe here just to get any extra thickness off of it. All right, that came out nice and neat, just like that. Here we go. Put a little bit right on there. Like that. Spread it around. And now we're going to do this edge right here. A little difficult to get going, and then as soon as you get going, you get the feel of it. Pretty easy. And you know, if you do get a little on the side, it just doesn't mean a thing. We're going to clean that all off when we fare this thing out, so it's not a problem at all. Now we're ready to pick our piece up and put it in place, like so. Now I've got these clamps right here all set up, so they push it right down in place like that. Put another one on forward here. Very simple to do. Probably just put one clamp on it here just to make sure it doesn't fall on the floor. And then we're going to take a couple more and put on a few down here. And we'll hold it down. And get a C clamp. And clamp the scarf together. And if we want, we can put another one at the feathered end right here the contact from one end of the scarf to the other. 
like so. And you can see the glue squeezing right out. Terrific. And one more. Like so. We're ready to fasten it in place. You can follow Evelyn being built on our Bristol Shipwrights YouTube channel. You can also check us out on Patreon. We could really use the support.